We are learning new details tonight about what led the United States to expel Cuban diplomats from this country. It follows reports of illnesses from those serving for the United States in Cuba. CBS 4's Elliot Rodriguez is here now with more. Elliot. Well, Rick, the United States is not the only country whose diplomats mysteriously got sick while serving in Cuba. CBS News has learned that a Canadian diplomat and the diplomat's family members were also taken to the hospital with similar symptoms. Those symptoms reportedly include loss of hearing that that required treatment here in South Florida. State Department employees in Havana began complaining of hearing loss and headaches late last year. A source tells CBS News U.S. officials are looking into whether the incidents were caused by a type of acoustic device that was in or outside the homes of embassy workers. Here is an acoustic device being used to control demonstrators at an economic summit in Pittsburgh. It's not known what type of acoustic device might have been used in Cuba, but some of the workers had to leave the island to seek medical treatment from a specialist in Miami. People started experiencing ailments in late 2016, okay? And think about it, when you have an ailment, you don't always know exactly what's causing it. But sources now say the ailments included hearing loss and headaches. As many as eight or nine U.S. diplomats had their assignments cut short, while some affected employees still remain on the island. So this takes time to figure out. That is why I say an investigation is ongoing. We have pro provided medical care and medical treatment and screening to our Americans who have asked for that. The development comes just two months after President Trump tightened travel and trade restrictions with Cuba that were loosened under former President Obama. In a statement, Senator Marco Rubio said the Cuban government has been harassing U.S. personnel working in Havana for decades. This has not stopped with President Obama's appeasement. Personal harm to U.S. officials shows the extent the Castro regime will go and clearly violates international norms. Cuba's foreign ministry responded as well, saying it's launched an urgent investigation at the behest of the highest levels of the Cuban government into the incidents, adding the country would never allow actions against diplomats and their families on its soil. Now, the United States has expelled two Cuban diplomats from the Cuban embassy in Washington. Cuba has called that move unjustified and unsubstantiated. Elliot Rodriguez, CBS 4 News.